Hey, do you know what I plan on eating today? For breakfast, it's gonna be cinnamon rolls, doused in whipped cream, some bacon, and an iced frappuccino. A big steak, fries, and a chocolate pastry for lunch, and for dinner. Dude, hold on! You've been eating garbage all week! An occasional indulgence is fine, but you can't eat this kind of food every day and expect to live for a long time. Let me tell you what the longest living people in the blue zones on Earth would never eat. Wait a minute, you've never heard of blue zones? Let me explain. Only a few people make it to their 90s without the baggage of disease. But there are seven extraordinary geographic areas where the average life expectancy went up to 100 years. Sardinia, Italy, Okinawa, Japan, Loma Linda, California, Acaria, Greece, and Nicoya, Costa Rica have the longest living folks. These regions have become the Blue Zones. Genetics only play a miniature role. Your lifestyle dictates your longevity. Researchers have unraveled the mysteries of these regions and found a strong interlink between what the locals ate and their longevity. Perhaps it's time we use their secret of longevity too. The Blue Zone diet is not calorie-based. It doesn't focus on taking wellness supplements or reading labels. It's a natural, holistic way of living. Now let's jumpstart your living long strategy by looking at what to avoid. Do you love your hamburgers, steak, and hot dogs a little too much? Red meat has been such a mainstay that it can almost double as America's national meal. But guess what? People in the Blue Zones have meat only as a celebratory food. They have it maybe twice a week or even less, and the serving size is small, somewhere around two ounces. People of Loma Linda are Seventh-day Adventists and completely avoid meat. It's best if you can do that. But if you've been a meat lover for many years, going cold turkey can be difficult. If you must satisfy those meat cravings, then choose organic farm-raised poultry. People from the other Blue Zones eat only free-roaming animals that are grain-fed. Your body needs 0.36 grams of protein per pound of body weight, but Americans tend to go overboard. Controlling the portion size is key. Remember your lamb chop should not be bigger than the size of a deck of cards. If you go to a restaurant and see a bigger serving, your best bet is to share it with somebody or make the remaining portion a takeaway. It would be so much easier if you just avoid buying sausages, luncheon, and other processed meats altogether. First off, because they're loaded with sodium and preservatives, and second, they're gonna damage your heart. A review stated that processed meat comes with an 18% higher risk of coronary heart disease. Red meat increases the chances of heart attacks by 9%. The Blue Zone folks might have succeeded in cracking the code on heart disease, but what about getting enough protein? Do they remain protein deficient when they don't eat meat? Well, they have alternative plant sources. Their usual diet revolves around beans, green veggies, sweet potatoes, fruits, nuts, and seeds. They enjoy garden vegetables that are in season and even pickle the excess to enjoy them off season. You too can switch to tofu, tempeh, and beans to load up on protein. Have you ever tried a black bean or chickpea patty in a veggie burger? It's delicious if you season it right and complement it with a little salad. The next source of protein in an average American's diet is probably eggs and fish. You'll want to eat no more than three eggs per week to mimic the Blue Zone diet. Have it as a side dish like the Mediterranean people or in a soup like the Okinawans. You can include fish in your diet as well. Studies show that pesco vegetarians or people having only fish and veggies in these regions live long. Stick to the sardines, anchovies, and cod. They'll have fewer pollutants and low mercury levels. Avoid swordfish, shark, tuna, and sea bass. Steer clear of canned fish as the longest living people just eat wild-caught fresh fish. Moving ahead, what's the one thing common in cakes, donuts, pastries, and chocolate? It's sugar! The number of obese people is skyrocketing, and sugar is a major contributor. One in three Americans are overweight. The nutritional guidelines for Americans dictate having six to nine tablespoons of sugar per day. But do you know how much the average American has? 22 tablespoons. And every year it's increasing. This is because our bodies have become more resistant and can be satisfied with only more and more sugar. When you're on a Blue Zone diet, you'll have to cut your sugar by a third. You can safely eat seven tablespoons of sugar per day. It's not an easy task. You can try to limit the sugar in your tea and coffee, but did you know that sugar can hide in fruit juices, sauces, yogurt, salad dressings, cereals, and other baked goods like bread? Foods that come out of a box or in a packet will contain added sugar. Sugary foods can spike insulin levels and even cause infertility, type 2 diabetes, obesity, and heart problems. If ignored, it can even cost you your life. That's why cutting down on sugar can increase your chances of living longer. The same goes for high fructose corn syrup. It can be the number one aging factor. 
If you're addicted to sweet coffee or tea, then try using honey instead of sugar. It will have sugar, but at least you'll get anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and anti-cancer properties, just like the Acarians. It's harder to dissolve honey in your cold beverages, so ultimately you'll be having less of it. You can also try using stevia, which is an all-natural sweetener. It's not what the traditional Blue Zone diet dictates, but when you compare sugar and stevia, it's definitely wise to pick stevia. Talk to your doctor before you make it a regular part of your diet. Keep your fridge and pantry loaded with fresh fruits. Avoid dried fruit, as fresh is definitely going to keep you fuller for a longer time. Snacking on nuts can also put an end to your hunger pangs. Be very mindful of the products that say low fat on the label. The manufacturers may end up putting in lots of sugar to make it more appetizing. Centenarians believe sweets should only be eaten during celebrations. A cookie or a piece of pie is always their celebratory food. Sweets are included on religious holidays or village festivals. You can make sweets part of your Sunday meal so that you'll not feel totally deprived. Now, can you imagine the world's healthiest people drinking soda? No, then why should you be drinking it? If it's your usual drink with dinner, then you need to stop ASAP. The beverage rules of the Blue Zone diet are pretty straightforward. You can begin your day with a cup of coffee. Remember to have it black. Leave that sugar and cream behind. You can lightly sweeten it by dusting some cinnamon. Coffee is the largest source of antioxidants in the American diet and has been shown to reduce the rate of dementia and Parkinson's disease. If you feel parched throughout the day, drink water. Let's be honest, there is no better drink than water. When you're hydrated, your body can work to its full potential. On the other hand, soda and energy drinks can interfere with calcium absorption in your bones and make them brittle. If you have to drink something fizzy, drink seltzer or sparkling water. At least you'll keep the sugar away. When you crave afternoon tea, you can go for green tea. Okinawans drink green tea all the time, and studies have shown green tea to be related to a lower risk of heart disease and cancer. Other people in the blue zones also use herbs like rosemary, dandelion, sage, and mint to brew fresh teas. All these herbs are known for their amazing anti-inflammatory properties. Do these drinks seem boring compared to soda? Well, guess what? The next one is gonna spice things up. You're allowed to drink red wine in moderation. Pay special attention to the word moderation. You don't wanna drink until you feel sloshed, start puking, and get a terrible hangover the next morning. Drink no more than two glasses per day to unwind. Wine has resveratrol, an antioxidant that is good for your overall health. Another thing that you have to be careful of is milk. For decades, we have considered dairy as a main source of calcium, but did you know a few people can have a tough time digesting cow's milk? Nearly 30 million Americans have lactose intolerance. Sardinian and Acarian people from Blue Zones are used to drinking sheep and goat's milk. They have lactase, another enzyme, that helps in the digestion of lactose. Additionally, they don't drink the milk as is. They always ferment it and turn it into yogurt, sour milk, or cheese. Goat cheese, anyone? If you're not able to get your hands on alternate dairy products, try soy, almond, or coconut milk instead. They will be equally satisfying and give you enough calcium to make your bones strong. Are you a big fan of the bread basket at restaurants? Most of the time, it will be made from refined flour. And just like other processed foods, processed grains are also a big no when you're following a Blue Zone diet. This carbohydrate-rich food breakdown immediately creates a surge of glucose in your bloodstream. On the other hand, if you consume 100% whole wheat bread or sourdough that is authentically prepared, then it's going to bring you a million benefits. Whole grain bread has a lower glycemic index and will reduce your chances of obesity and type 2 diabetes. It will also have more fiber that can deal with constipation and other digestive issues. Remember to include rye and barley flour if you're making your own bread. You will get a wide range of minerals like selenium and magnesium along with an amino acid called tryptophan. Also, the lactobacilli used to raise the sourdough aids digestion. Find a bakery or a shop that prepares authentic sourdough and wholesome bread. You can also add flax seeds, sunflower, or pumpkin seeds to up the nutritional value. It's no shock that chips and chocolate are not exactly what your body needs, but can staples like rice or smoothies be harmful to your body? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more unhealthy food-related videos, shall we? Watch 21 unhealthy foods that should never be in your kitchen, or 11 drinks that are surprisingly unhealthy and you should not drink. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn how healthy foods are not so healthy. What food are you willing to quit? Let us know in the comments below.